Hello, this is Paul Humiller at Dream Guitars, and I wanted to show you today my brand new Mountain Song guitar built by Ken Jones. This is a baritone guitar um, that I had custom built for myself um, by Ken. And we collaborated quite a bit on this instrument. Over the years, I've seen a lot of baritones come in the shop and my favorites have been Paduke back and sides. So this has Paduke on the back and sides, which to me just adds some sort of clarity to the low notes so that you can still hear the separation when you're playing chords and things on a baritone, um, which sometimes can get muddy. And we also chose an Adirondack top for the same reason, really stiff and strong and has some good clarity to it. Um, some other features of this one, it's a big jumbo body, which I like for baritone. She, um, I, I, I like to tune low and that gives a big full bass. Because it's a big body, we did an armrest bevel, which makes it real comfortable on the fore, forearm and lowers the shoulder a little bit. Um, you might notice the crooked frets here. Um, this is a fan fret guitar, as um, many of you know, I like to play. And this one, we did a combination of multi-scale of 28 and a half inches on the bass and 27 on the treble side. So we've got an inch and a half spread, which allows me to go really low. This is tuned down to A at the moment. Um, I'm in a, an Orkney tuning here. Down to A. Um, so the bass holds up really well. Still lots of power and, and, and such there, but the trebles remain easy to play and not too taut. Um, so that's the benefit of the fan fret, on a, especially on an instrument like this. And I'm, I knew I was going to be playing this primarily in low versions of C GAD, DAD GAD, C9 tuning, things like that is what I do. Um, but all of them tuned down around A. Um, and today's session here, I'm actually tuned to 432 hertz for people who care about such things, uh, other guitar geeks. So it's not at 440 pitch, it's at 432. Ken does an awesome job. I mean, you've seen some of his other instruments on our site. Um, this one just feels perfect for my music. I play a lot in low tunings and baritone range. I'm a singer, so I like to sing, counter my voice against the low um, chords as well. Um, really allows you to sing differently in different, um, different ranges of your voice. By going low here, I can actually sing higher on many songs, which is pretty cool. And it just gives a nice variety for an audience to hear something low and rumbling as opposed to a bright guitar all the time. So for albums and live gigs, I think baritone guitar has a real great place. And as a songwriter, it's really inspiring. So thanks, Ken.